I want to thank Rob Leonard, my campaign manager, Kevin Davenport, my senior campaign advisor. Uh, they are putting together a really great effort, and uh, we're going to surprise this city in 33 days, thanks to their hard work. So All thank right. You. All right. I want to thank my father and my stepmother for coming all the way from Manassas, Virginia for this. They had the uh, longest commute of the night, and I'm impressed and I appreciate their commitment, both financially and spiritually. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. I, I, again, I cannot tell you how happy I am to have so many good friends in this room. Uh, as you all know, I am Steve Fogelman, and I'm running for state's attorney for Baltimore City. And I am running for state's attorney for some pretty simple reasons. First and foremost, I want to raise a family in this city and raise a family safely. I want you to be able to do the same thing. Uh, I am afraid that so many people leave the city and move to the suburbs when it's time to have children. And one of the main reasons they do that is because our streets are still not safe, despite economic revitalization, despite the attraction of new businesses. And the reason our streets are not safe is because the law enforcement family does not work in unison in this city. And unfortunately, I have to blame most of it on the current state's attorney. Uh, she has taken pot shots at the police, the city council, the mayor, and even the criminal justice coordinating council. By contrast, uh, I believe that I can bring them together for a law enforcement summit from day one so that we can prioritize our crime-fighting resources in this city and we can come to a consensus on how to get it done. I stand for violent conviction rates to go up dramatically over the next four years of my administration. I stand for targeting juvenile offenders early so that they do not become adult offenders. I, I support a victim and witness oversight council for the state's attorney's office so we know how we're doing with the people we serve every day. I also support a juror education pool so that we can go out and send all of our assistant state's attorneys out into this city, all over the neighborhoods of this community and, and this city, and let them know that they, too, bear some responsibility for the justice system. They, too, when they serve on juries, need to understand that while those shalt not kill, those shalt not let a killer go free. And I think every one of us needs to step up and lift this city up. Now, i got to get a couple of things off my chest because I promised... Uh, the press that I would do that. The first thing that's been bugging me is that we were driving, uh, we were connecting with the voters of Cherry Hill in South Baltimore uh, last Saturday and we happened to drive by our opponent's fundraiser and we saw more Mercedes and BMWs in that parking lot than I've even seen down at the Port of Baltimore coming off of ships. It was, uh, it was a Republican shindig and that's what the, my problem is. Uh, my problem is I'm a Democrat and my opponent is a dino. She's a Democrat in name only. Uh, in fact, she uh, has fought with Mayor O'Malley for years. She refuses to support his candidacy for governor, and I think that that shows us who does hold the grudge in this city. Uh, finally, I found out that Governor Ehrlich and his wife were not only at the fundraiser as honored guests, uh, but were also called uh, good friends by my opponent. Unlike my opponent. I moved to this city in many re for many reasons because of what Mayor O'Malley did, and that's why I choose to live here. So I would ask tonight that my opponent uh, either get on board the O'Malley campaign for governor or else change to her party status to be a Republican so she can show the citizens of this city where she really stands. I thank you very much for your time. Uh, I'll show you this great picture I printed out off the internet today of uh, my opponent <laughs> and our governor, Bob Ehrlich, and uh, I want to let you all know I'm a Democrat. I believe the incumbent, is it's time for her to retire. I'm young. I have fresh ideas. My opponent has had 11 years to raise our conviction rates. And it's a failed leadership in this city. And it's time for a change, guaranteed. Thank you very much. again. Uh, there's plenty of beer left, so uh, <laughs> enjoy. Uh, Steve Fogelman has a very uh, big idea to bring the City Hall, the Police Department, and crime in the Baltimore area together. He has the ability to bridge the gap between um, community relations, he has a forward thinking, and I also believe that it makes the street safer for myself and for my uh, son right here. It makes it safer 
in the city of Baltimore. I think the streets would be safer with Steve elected to office for Baltimore State's Attorney. Why are you going to vote for Fogelman? Well, I don't know. Steve has a lot of good points. And I believe that he has the energy, he has the spirit, and he has the capacity to fight in the attacks and go against the status quo. Why are you voting for Fogelman? I'm going to say, uh, same reason, basically, same thing that he just said. Uh, he stands for a lot more than just basically going through the motion. He stands for the real thing. Basically, he's uh, mainly, uh, mainly is for the people. Voting for Steve Fogelman. Well, as some of my distinguished colleagues have said uh, before, the crime is, crime is up, convictions are down, and uh, we'd like to see that turn around. Uh, it's time for a change. So, is there anybody new? Of course, you know, it's 7.30 and the, the really rush hour traffic has come and gone, but the people that are going out for a late supper will definitely notice the signs. Who has the sign that says honk if you love Fogelman? Yeah, we need to get that one. That one we'll have for Saturday. <laughs> no question. <laughs> I mean, I was never I'm not, I don't discriminate on voters. <laughs>